Hi everybody, Andrea Trowski here with Dental Little Tutoring. Are you looking to be a dental office receptionist? Maybe you're going for your interview, maybe you have a couple lined up, or maybe you just want to see if dental office reception is something that you'd want to do. In this video, I want to talk to you guys about the different types of interview questions. That is what we're going to be going over here and how you would answer them, but also why. Okay, so let me share my screen. And this is just kind of to remind myself of what I want to talk to you guys about today. Okay. So basically one of the duties as a dental office receptionist is you have to really be able to multitask. You have to manage your time. Well, that's what makes a good receptionist in any office. You know, if you have someone on the phone, but then you have a lineup of people in front of you, but then you have to remember to file the charts and then book appointments and then call patients to either book appointments or follow up. How are you going to manage your time? So this is one of the questions. One of the questions that they're typically going to ask you is either how do you manage your time? How do you see yourself juggling the various responsibilities of being a dental office receptionist? How are you going to do this? Whether you have experience as a dental office receptionist or not, you do not have to be to work in a dental office as a receptionist. So a really good way to answer this is that you like to multitask you like to be organized. This is something that you like to do and how you plan to manage it is based on priority. So if you have a patient in front of you, you would handle that patient first because they're likely here for an appointment. Maybe they have a question about their appointment or maybe they want to book an appointment. But what if the phone starts ringing? You would pick up the phone, put them on, on hold politely, and then deal with the patient in front of you. That's always how things are done. You deal with the person in front of you. There's nothing worse than being on the phone and then seeing a patient walk in, and then you're just like, hey, while you're talking on the phone, right? So you are going to manage your time, manage your tasks in order of importance, okay? And that's basically what I had down here, is that you're going to prioritize tasks, but then you also have to point out things like, if you need to file charts. Well, you're not going to start filing the charts when it's the busiest time of the day. You know, when you're seven different dentists in the office, their seven patients are leaving at the same time. You're not going to start filing your charts at that time and make that patient wait, right? Maybe you're not the only dental receptionist. Maybe there's two others at the desk. You're still going to manage your time. You might be filing the charts before lunch or on your lunch, maybe even, or maybe you're just going to stay a little bit later at the end of the day in order to file those charts. So there's not a big pile up at the end of the day. This is one thing, and there's many, but this is one thing that makes a really good dental office receptionist is being able to multitask and manage your time. So let's go to the next one here. How are you going to handle a difficult or upset patient? And by the way, this full document is inside my dental office reception full online course. So you can have this when you go through the course so you don't forget anything. But okay, back to the question here. How do you handle handle a difficult or upset patient. It could be a patient upset about paying their bill, that they've had to wait for their appointment. Maybe they're just having a bad day and they're being difficult. How are you going to handle this? What you're going to say is, well, you are going to handle it as professional and as calmly as possible. So you don't disturb the other patients, but you, you know, there's patients watching you. If there's other patients in the waiting room while this difficulty is happening, right? So you're going to be professional and you're going to handle it in an appropriate manner. Okay. So basically what I have said here is you are going to listen to the patient's concerns. It's right here. And you're going to respond calmly to hopefully avoid additional annoyance from the patient and you're going to offer solutions. So another way of saying this is if you yell back at the patient, that's going to make them more upset, right? But what if the patient's upset and you just simply don't have the answer for them? What if they're upset about having to wait for their appointment? You can say calmly, um, Mr. Smith or Mrs. Smith or whoever, you might not even know their name yet. 
I am so sorry to um, keep you waiting. I do understand the frustration. We have been behind today. We've had several emergency appointments, but let me go check for you how much longer it's going to be and I will let you know. See how that's offering up a solution? You're not just simply saying, listen, sir or ma'am, I don't know how much longer it's going to be. I'm just a receptionist. I can't help you. You see how that's not helping? See the differences there. In a lot of dental offices, we will actually offer patients a Tim Hortons gift card or a coffee shop gift card for them to go after their appointment. I used to work in a dental office in the mall. So if we knew we were going to be 10 minutes behind at least, um, the dental office receptionist would go up to that patient for us and say, you know, sir, ma'am, I am sorry. They do know they're going to be about 10 minutes behind. Here's a gift card for a coffee for you. The Tim Hortons or Starbucks is just down the hall there. Please feel free to enjoy a coffee on us. Come back at about this time and we will be ready for you. So you see how that's so much nicer than just keeping patients waiting for like 30 minutes. Anyway, let's move on to the next one here. How familiar are you with dental software or systems? So if you're a new dental receptionist, or even if you've been a dental receptionist before, I've been in the practice for, oh my goodness, almost 20 years, and I haven't worked with every single dental office software out there. If I was going to apply for a dental receptionist job today, there's likely all of them. I haven't used before. Um, I've used maybe five or six, but there's probably hundreds out there. I'm not even joking. There's probably hundreds. But how are you going to answer this? You can say, if you do have experience, you can say, I have experience with this and this and this software. I found they were all fairly similar, but I'm a very quick learner. So I can jump right in and booking appointments, um, scheduling appointments, um, time management, updating patient records, taking x-rays, you know, all of that. I can jump right in because I am used to different types of dental hygiene software and I'm not afraid to learn something. But what if you don't have any experience at all? You can say, well, admittedly, I don't have, have any dental office experience with certain dental, um, dental softwares, but I'm a very quick learner and I am very much looking forward to learning how to use them. You can even say, if you've taken my dental office reception online course through me at Dental L, you can say, I have taken an online dental reception course where they do walk us through different dental software. So I do have a little bit of an idea of how to get started. So see how that really helps. The experience, even if it's a little bit, can really, really help. And then the next one here, how do you handle confidential patient information? This is very important. If you've never worked in a dental office before, you might be thinking of this question like, what's, what's the big deal? Well, of course I'm going to be confidential, but they might ask you those types of questions. It's very important to, to just simply say, I keep all information from the patient secure either paper, uh, paper charting, digital charting, however your dental office has it, I know how to keep things confidential. They might ask you things that are more specific, like how would you handle um, a patient chart? You know, would you leave it at the front for every patient to see, or would you put the chart off to the side so not everybody can see the patient's name? But those are pretty self-explanatory. We just simply keep things confidential as much as possible, right? We're not going to show everybody our uh, computer screen with the patient's names on it. We're going to keep things confidential. And then the next one here is what would you do if a patient cancels last minute? So this is a great um, question. Every office is different. Definitely check when you go to work at a dental office what their policy is. But typically, if a patient cancels last minute, we are going to ask why. And we're going to say why, you know, why are you going to reschedule? But let me do that for you. We're not just going to say, okay, thank you so much for canceling your appointment last minute. Um, talk to you later. You know, we're not going to say that. We are going to say, oh, you're you know, so, uh, something to the effect of this. You're canceling your appointment. Um, this is two hours prior to your appointment. Um, can I ask why you are rescheduling? 
they might be sick, something came up, there's an emergency, who knows. But then we would say, okay, well, for that appointment, our next availability is in about three weeks. Are you sure you want to cancel? Three weeks is a long time, right? So maybe they might go, oh, three weeks. Well, I really wanted to get that cavity fixed. It's really been hurting me. Okay, maybe I'm not going to cancel. So while you're in your interview, you can say, well, I would ask how you would want me to handle a short notice cancellation because I understand every office is different. Do you want me to make it hard for them to reschedule or do you want me to, of course, be nice about it and say, absolutely, you can reschedule. Do you mind if I just simply ask why so I can let the doc the, the doctor know or the dental hygienist know, the dental assistant know? I'm just going to make a note of that. Let's reschedule for you. But what you're not going to do is just simply say, OK, thanks. Bye. And then hang up the phone. Right. You always want to book that next appointment. OK. And then, um, ah, how would you describe your customer service skills? Um, so would you say you're a friendly person? Would you say you like people? Would you say you don't like people? Would you say you don't care about their experience, right? So you would just simply say, I would be really good as a dental receptionist because I love working with people. I like talking with people. I understand I'm typically the first face that that patient is going to see for the entire dental office. And I'm the last person they're going to see before they leave. If you like your dental office receptionist and makes them more comfortable, they'll feel comfortable asking me questions and that's what I'm here for. But I'm also here to manage things well. I'm here to book appointments, reschedule appointments, um, handle billing, handle phone calls, um, handle, you know, greeting the patient coming in, saying bye, um, making sure they have a pleasant experience. So you see how that just sounds amazing. Like if, if somebody said that to me, I'd be like, wow, this person sounds fantastic. They really want the job. I can't wait to hire them because they're going to make my life so much easier, right? Okay, so how is everybody doing so far? There's clearly a lot more in the document, plus inside the dental office reception course, I go through a full video with you going through all of the possible dental reception interview type questions, but also what you need as a dental office receptionist to make you a really, really good one. You don't need dental office experience or any dental experience to be a dental office receptionist. You just need to know time management, how to manage your time, all of that. But taking my Dental L Dental Reception eCourse can really help you because I actually started off as a dental receptionist when I was 19 years old. I've been in the dental office now or the dental profession for 20 years now. I've been a, a dental assistant, as I mentioned, a dental receptionist, a dental hygienist, and now I'm a dental hygienist with my own mobile dental hygiene practice. So I go into clients' homes, patients' homes to see them and to clean their teeth. So I'm basically my own dental receptionist. I kind of do it all because I have my own business and I haven't expanded enough to hire out. But I loved being a dental office receptionist because you handle so much. You basically save the day a lot of the time, but you have to know how to book appointments, how to manage appointments with multiple dentists in the office, with multiple hygienists. How do you handle emergency appointments? How do you handle difficult patients? So I teach you all of that inside the dental reception online course. De definitely check it out. You can go to dentalwell.com, but I will also leave the link for you down below in the comments, but also in the YouTube description. So definitely have a look, you guys. Let me know if any questions and I'll see you guys in the next one.